Hello all, this is Mahesh Panhale and welcome to this course on WPF in small steps. So before we start, we need to understand this course is designed for those who want to learn WPF and have a little basic knowledge of C Sharp. In case you want to continue using other languages like VB.NET, then uh, be aware of it that in entire session I won't be covering anything on VB.NET. We will be having all demonstrations on C Sharp. If you uh, know how to code in Windows Forms, it will be added advantage. And then you can use analogy to understand WPF in uh, Windows Forms uh, perspective. So overall agenda for the courses, we need to understand why WPF is required, what is WPF and how it works behind the scene. We will also have comparison between Windows Forms and WPF a bit. And we will understand architectural details in WPF, specifically from the perspective of developer. Like when we see some feature, we need to understand why that feature works in some X way because of the architecture of WPF or execution of WPF. We will have our first program soon developed. Then we will understand data binding feature in WPF. So various kinds of data binding techniques we will try to understand in this course. We will see something called as resources, more like styling perspective and uh, its transformations for the animation perspective. Then interoperability with the Windows form and then vice versa. We will take WPF application or contents or controls into Windows form. User controls versus custom controls. Uh, so this is going to be um, uh, what we call it as uh, one of the very nice session that we will have wherein I'm sure about it that all of you will like custom controls. We will also talk about certain important events in the life cycle of WPF that is arrange and major. Then we will talk about events, custom events, which will lead us to commands. And commands is something which is one of the vital part in case of MVVM. So MVVM, model view, view model based, it's, it's a design pattern and design pattern based development is what we will do in WPF. And finally, we will do deployment using ClickOnce deployment. So in order to work with WPF, we need a setup on your machine. So I'll prefer you having Windows 7 onwards operating system, ultimately Windows operating system. And then we need an IDE for the purpose of coding in WPF. I again prefer universal editor like Microsoft Visual Studio uh, 2012 onwards. In case you uh, need to download uh, Visual Studio, what you can do is you can go to visualstudio.microsoft.com slash vs and then you can download community edition of Visual Studio 2019. It's a free edition, free for evaluation and demonstrations. After installation, you can try all the hands-on labs that we are going to do in this uh, entire course. And then there are a few uh, things which I want uh, you to understand is please do not skip any of the lab exercise. So during this course, we will have lots of lab exercises and then uh, you should not skip those in order to understand the concepts thoroughly. So considering you won't skip the lab exercise, let's start learning WPF.